All right, so I guess it's time we start putting stuff in the case. So again, thermal take V100. And by the way, cat's back in the room, as you can hear. As I say, cats are always on the wrong side of the door. And I think it's true with most pets. Dogs, cats, maybe not fish. I think fish kind of belong where they belong. And yes, I have a fish tank too. There's that. I'll get this off here. I do like the perforated aspect of it. And if I remember correctly, there's a. Oh. I guess they're trying to call it a dust shield. It just sticks on there like that. There are some, obviously, cables and what's not in here. There's a fan, and there's another one of these dust shields up on top. get all this recorded before my phone runs out of memory. I didn't think it was going to, but uh, apparently filming these videos I'm almost full. So uh, let's hope I get done. I guess that was uh, probably on there for a decent reason. Put that back on there for some cable management. I'm not the best at cable management, to be honest. Never been one thing that really got to me. So, let's see about. Mistaken, I think the back plate comes, uh, back cover comes off too. Which I've never had a case that did that. That also tells how long it's been since I built a computer. So, let's go. Everything lined up. Great. Cool. I just realized because I just put stand Over here. Lots of ties. Not easy. Just a 
couple of turns. That was it. Like I said, it's been a while. I'm going to go ahead, pause the video here, and uh, pick back up so I don't run out of room. Alright, so, I got all the screw holes I could find anyway, and uh, filled those with screws. So, as far as I can tell, it's on, and I forgot the back plate. That sucks. Uh, no, I don't know if there's a way to put that in after it's, uh, nope. I don't think there's a way to put that in after it's been installed. Well, we knew there was going to be issues. Alright, so after having to completely uninstall the motherboard and uh, install the back plate, I know it's not technically necessary, but you know, I kind of, it's there for a purpose, obviously. And uh, yeah, then put the motherboard back in. Uh, so far, so good. Um, so we will continue on. And let's see what else we need to do. I know, obviously, power supply, drives, and uh, plugging in all the fans. So, I know now that it gets to bit more interesting stuff. I'm uh, getting really close to running out of room on my phone. So I will pause it and uh, get back to you when there's a little bit more going on. I.O. Uh, through the back and then installed the power supply. Now, one thing I don't like about this power supply is it's obviously upside down when it's in. And yes, I already know if I, if I flip it over, it's still upside down. Uh, the fan needs to be on the bottom. So, that's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh. Anyway, uh, she'll continue on. And see how much more I need to do. I know I need to route some cables, plug in some fans, plug in some. Um, what are they called? Drives and all that. And uh, we will continue on. Wish I could have included everything and all the little mishaps I'm running into. Uh, maybe one day I'll you know, get a, another SD card or something and pop it in and keep it going. But as for right now, Uh, oh wait, I, do I have another one? I don't remember. Anyway.
Alright, bit of an update. So, got the hard drive in, and I've got most of the fans in. I've got the drive bay in, I've got the card reader in. I've just about everything plugged in except for power cables at the moment. And, uh, due to fan plug placement on the motherboard, as of right now, I am not going to be able to run one of my front fans. There is just not enough room to get it where it needs to go. So, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get an extender or something and do that later. That's all right. Should still have enough air to look. Um, hmm, let's see, what else was there? Oh, yeah. So, turn this around real quick. Camera's going to wobble. The case obviously has I.O., but then I also have the card reader. Problem is, I only have one uh, usable USB header, and so I'm going to run this one because it does have two 3.0s and it's got more 2.0 slots anyway. So the other stuff will still work, but focusing on that. Uh, I think cable management's going pretty good. There's obviously some slack here and there that I'll need to somewhat tidy up. But so far so good. Yeah, like I said, I may get all this done and realize, oh crap, it's not going to work. And if that's the case, well, I'll make another video. Um, right. let me get back to work and I'll get back with you. Alright, after fiddling with a bunch of the cable management and trying to route a few things. I think I already said that one of the fans is going to have to wait till I can get an extension for it. Which is something I'm a little worried about here because it seems to look stressed. <laughs> Not we all. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got everything plugged in where it's supposed to go, how it's supposed to go. Looking halfway decent if I do say so myself. Um, Yeah, so I guess we'll continue on and get the cover put on, and then I'll show you the monitor I got. Kind of a little overkill, but a little underkill at the same time. Nothing too fancy. Alright, so... Alright, so the monitor I got is a uh, Samsung 28 inch. Uh, the model is UR55. Um, I didn't want a huge screen and I wanted something with it that would have good quality, so it's, it's you know UHD. So it'll last for a little while and uh, hopefully be worth the tracking it down so for right now I'm about to plug everything in and let's hope it all works all right so this is oh let me hold on just the camera All right, so this is the first fire up. Uh, things lit up on the motherboard and don't look to be bad, so let's give this a try. I didn't hear any pops, zings, or 
smell anything, so I gotta figure out where my power button is on here. Alright, so so far so good. Wait, is this still recording? Mm. Yes it is. Alright. So She's gonna be in the background. Uh, let's see. Uh, crap, what's the day? It is. That is coming. Uh, August. August 7th. Alright, 2021. Time is 8.13. Oh, my memory is only reading uh, 2133. 16 total gigabytes. It does show i9900K, 30.6 gigahertz. Drive. All right. So let's turn it off and see what the hell happens. Turn it off before opening it up. It's, well, best practice anyway. Ah, <laughs> I wonder if that's one of the ones that wasn't working. showing up.
Well, I want to see first off what fan ain't spinning. So, Let's go ahead and turn it on this way. You want back out? Okay, here you go. All right. Now, let's see if we can see. Still RGB stuff on it, but that's all right. Both top fan, back fan, that one, and that one will run it. So, I don't know. What's up? Uh, Turn this back off. And plug this back in. Where was it? Ah, I can't see. Oh. Right. Now we can test it. See if this one's running. Let's see. Yep, that's running. All fans installed are run. Oh, and it's not showing my M.2 drives either. I hope I installed those correctly. Let's leave this off for now then. That's supposed to be my primary boot. All right, so it does not show the M.2 drives. Some reason it already says it's at 102 degrees. That does not seem right. I have a feeling there may be something wrong with this board. And of course, getting right back into it, and then of course there's going to be problems. Okay, so I will pause the video and we will get back to this later. Alright, so. Apparently, the, uh, as far as I can tell, the M.2 drives are not working. Um, I had to, uh, uh, to be honest, off camera, uh, I thought the motherboard crept out. I couldn't get the hard drive to show up. I couldn't get the DVD drive to show up. I could get the card reader to show up. I couldn't get anything else to show up. Move some cables around. And uh, now I've got the... Uh, 
hard drive and the DVD drive showing up, but still not the M.2 drives. So, hopefully, everything goes good. I can boot up Windows onto just the hard drive. It's not, I know it's not ideal, but at least it'll get me going. Let's see. I thought maybe the drivers were bad, but I can't really run this apparently until I have an operating system in there. Which I find a little weird, but yeah, whatever. Maybe it needs a driver update or something. Alright, give this a go again. Well, progress so far. all set up and we'll leave that. All right, so got Windows installed. Turns out I just had to move those uh, cables around some and got all that taken care of. Uh, still don't have the M.2 drives, the Intel Optane going. I'm just glad I didn't have to buy another motherboard because well, I thought it was about $300. Uh, no, it's about $1,000 and only used. So... Maybe I'll just buy some more in two drives. Uh, oh, and uh, on, on a side note, uh, the A on the keyboard doesn't work. I need that. You know, it was a free thing. So, that'll be something to have to be taken care of. So, I'm going to fiddle around with this some more. And uh, maybe see if I can update some drivers. Uh, maybe plug in the Wi-Fi, and see where we're at from there. I'll get back to you if I need to. Alright, so as of right now, uh, I can't even use my, put my Wi-Fi antennas here, but the A key is out, so I can't sign into my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to have to move everything and get everything updated. When that happens, I'll load up some software and edit these videos and post them to YouTube. But as of right now, project's done. Sort of. Almost. I know this has been a, probably not what most people would want to watch, but uh, there was a learning experience. And... It's first of hopefully many videos to come on various topics. Again, this is Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. And uh, always remember, be smart, stay safe, have fun.